Hiroshima during the World War II period, Miyake Kazumaru, also known as Aishi Miyake, is one of the most well-known fashion designers in the DC Boom era, along with Reikawa Kubo and Yoshi Yamamoto. They are also called the Big Three due to their contributions to the reconceptualizations of beauty standards and social beliefs on clothing. As a World War II survivor, I see Miyake's design philosophy centers around joy, positivity, and cultural reflections. His works often integrate advanced technology to explore the space between body and garments. Before getting any deeper into the work of Aisei Miyake, I think it's necessary for everyone to know about transnationalism in his work. So what is transnationalism? According to Google, transnationalism refers to the flows and exchanges that take place across national borders. These include but are not limited to the cross-border movements and circulation of bodies, ideas, information and things. The concept of transnationalism took place in Aisei Miyake works back to square one when he decided to be a transnational artist. Graduated with a graphic design degree at Tama University, Miyake went to Paris to study more about tailoring and clothing manufacturing, as he already envisioned his future as a fashion designer. During his time in Paris, the designer was fascinated by the abundant amount of Western heritage that he was eager to take in. Later in his career, he recalled, Away from the home country, living and working in Paris, I look at myself very hard and I ask, what could I do as a Japanese fashion designer? Then I realize that my very disadvantage, like a Western heritage, would also be my advantage. I was free from Western tradition or convention, I thought. I can try anything new. I cannot go back to my past because there's no past in me as far as Western clothing is concerned. There was no other way for me but to go forward. The lack of Western tradition was the very thing I need to create contemporary and universal fashion. But as a Japanese person, I came from a heritage rich in tradition. I realized these two wonderful adventures that I enjoy. That was when I started to experiment creating a new genre of clothing, neither Western nor Japanese, but beyond nationality. I hope to create a new universal clothing which is challenging to our time. I see always hates being labeled as a Japanese designer. He believed that being labeled is another form of being imprisoned, trapped in a box when it comes to creativity. Anything can be combined together to create something bigger, beyond nationality or the stratifications between cultures or society. To create something truly original, he encouraged creative and artists to think outside the box to blend different rims and break away from tradition. This ideology had been heavily adopted by the Japanese in the diverse landscapes of art. In material arts, it's something called shu ha ri which means opi, digest, and transcend. shu ha ri represents three stages to become the master of something. At the first step, you learn the traditional fundamental skills. Use knowledge as the tool to renshu which means practice, and achieve essential skills. After that, you retrofit the forms by your own creativity. You detach yourself from all being, abandon all previous disciplines to forge a box fresh idea, a new form, which is Ha. At the last step, you achieve the peak of freedom in creativity by opening your soul to embrace different notions from everywhere with a view to diversifying your ultimate vision. Moving back to Aisei Miyake, in his works, the idea of cultural infusion has always surfaced under the form of clothing. Especially when it comes to collaborations, his most notorious works with photographers all represent this notion of transnationalism. The first and most famous collaboration worth mentioning here is definitely a publication fabricated by Irving Penn titled I See Miyake Photographs by Irving Penn. 
a combination between the eye of a non-Western postmodernist designer and a Western photographer. In this visual dialogue, Isaac's work was presented in a formless, amorphous image with white background and the only subject being Isaac Miyake items. Irving Penn curated his works in a vague manner with negative space being used and bold visual use on clothes. The reconceptualized fashion beauty of the West in pleated textiles. The urge to escape from the label Japanese designer also brought Icy to Yuriko Takagi. In this project, rags of rags of Icy works were worn by Indian labor workers in isolated villages. This exchange of identities across national borders made people rethink the importance of geographical perspectives in forming individuality and enriching the culture itself with a fashion context. There are a lot of IC works from 1995 onwards, feature a range of collaborators from different countries and promote the theme of globalization, especially as his guest artist series where he led a variety of contemporary artists from various countries use his bleed materials as a canvas to express themselves, using fancy steering colorways and intriguing visual interpretations. One of the most famous performance artists that I see works with is Kai Kyo Kyung, performance artist who was famous for his use of explosive fireworks to evoke religious beliefs and also philosophical tradition of Chinese people. Together, they joined to create clothing with burn marks resulting in Kyung's use of gunpowder on Icy's garment laying on the ground. It forms the shape of a Chinese dragon. The purpose, however, wasn't to bring in an instantaneous aesthetic experience but to commemorate the victims of Hiroshima atomic bomb and other terrorist events. Not just that, IC also has an inexpressible adoration for African culture. His references of African cultures always evokes a sense of cultural appropriation as well as self-expression using the diversity of cultural identity. Most notably, in his 1989 in 1980 collection, his seals of tattoo as a second layer of garment emphasized the tactility of his garments as well as unveil his own perspective on ethnic beauty standards. Personally, one of my favorite ICBRK designs, the Lithuanian Olympic uniform at Barcelona Olympics, also had its fair share in the dimension of Shen's nationalist ideas. His refined and brilliant use of mandarin garments fabricated by pleating techniques really churned out an engrossing set of costumes which have the Lithuanian team stand out from the rest of the 1992 Olympics Barcelona. During the time when the fashion industry gradually becomes saturated with whole cultural trends and mass production, the significant standing of cultural influence declines. Isis fabrics, therefore, overturn this concept of westernization by providing transnationalism in his projects. At a global scale, many artists also bridge the gap between different cultures by using references from a variety of nations. The aesthetic dimensions of creative endeavors were pushed forward by the influence of kimono and ukiyo-e paintings on Western fine arts. Vice versa, Western postmodernism and impressionist paintings on the Japanese art scene. In the aesthetic framework, when the expanding and widening of the economy promotes the domineering rules and use of labels as well as categories, originality and creativity increasingly become restricted. And to appreciate different cultures, and input his own interpretations of artistic blend between Western and Japanese landscapes, Aisi Miyake really pushed forward the social concepts of clothing as well as artistic practice in general. In the aesthetic framework, when the expanding and widening of the economy promotes the domineering rules and use of labels, 
as well as categories. Originality and creativity increasingly become restricted. To create emblematic values and meaningful things, which can be sustained in perpetuity, one must be able to examine hybrid elements from various concepts, cultures, and ideas. Master the fundamentals that remain being flexible to break away from the protective bubble of normativity and tradition. That's a key thing to succeed in the art scene. Je